Hey guys, this is Brian. Welcome back to Classic G Body Garage. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to replace seat belts. All right, so one of the questions that I get asked is how do you go about replacing the seat belts in a G Body? Well, you know, I've done that several times over and I never really thought about doing a video on it just because. It really isn't all that difficult and over time these seat belts tend to uh, break down and shred apart. Uh, the mice get in there and eat them up or if you want to do a interior color change, seat belts is definitely one of the items that you're going to want to change out to make sure they are the same color as your interior. That is of course if you have a factory set of black seat belts where those go along with any interior color. So. I'm working on the uh, 78 moonroof four speed here behind me and the mice have gotten to the seat belts in that car and I am uh, in the process of changing out the seat belts in that car so let me show you what I have going on so in order to remove the seat belts you only really need a couple of tools uh, got yourself a hammer a regular ratchet a couple of extensions and a Phillips screwdriver and the most important tool is this. This is a Torx bit and the size for all G-body seat belts is T50. Okay so when removing the bolts, the Torx bolts that hold down the seat belts, you can see I already removed the center seat belts, also the ones that go along the back uh, there. Those are basically self-explanatory. It's just a simple uh, removal of a bolt. Uh, remove the color seat belt that you want to swap out just simply bolt down like that unbolt it swap it out with the one that you want to put back in and uh, tighten it back up but a couple of things uh, before you go ahead and do that you got to make note of these torque bolts are essentially loctited into place with some sort of goo from the factory because they do not want these bolts come and loose over time so what you need to make sure of uh, it's a good idea to get behind it because these bolts run all the way through the floorboard and you can get to the threads on the back side so make sure you hit the threads with the wire brush if there's rust on them and some penetrating oil and let them soak for a while because they are a real bitch to remove also another thing to keep in mind is you have to make sure that the Torx bolt itself is clean of any type of residue because this is a pocket and over 30 plus years of these cars being around these bolts tend to fill up with all sorts of dirt and grime and whatever it might be so uh, with your Phillips screwdriver or you can get yourself a, a pick or anything like that just go ahead and dig out the the bolt to make sure that is nice and clean in there or blow it out with air then you want to go ahead and put the Torx bit in there. You want to make sure that this Torx bit is well seated in place. And this is where the hammer comes into play. Go ahead and pound that. Make sure that Torx bit is set in there flat. If it is crooked, if it wants to twist and turn on you, you are going to end up stripping that bolt. And if you strip the Torx head, basically you're you're screwed because these are in there so tight that if you strip that out there's no way you're gonna get a pair of vice grips or or anything in there or even drill this out and then retap it because this bolt is extremely hard it's probably like a grade 8 bolt or something like that either way it is a very very hard bolt and once you strip that out you're better off just cutting the head off of it and then going ahead and drilling out these spot welds and welding in a new plate on the back side, a threaded plate on the back side, because that is probably going to be your only bet. So that is how easy it is to re replace the, uh, the center seat belts and along with the four that are on the back side. As you can see, like I said, I already have these out. Very easy to remove, and they just become loose. And uh, these are the uh, retractable uh, portions 
that are on the outer side. So I don't need to explain anything there. Now the part I do need to explain are the are the shoulder belts, the ones that hide between or behind the uh, interior panel, the back seat interior panel, and those are held down by three uh, positions, three uh, mounting points. You have one on the side of the each one of the seats, drivers and passenger. Then you have an anchor up in the roof for 78 to 80. And on 81 to 88 or T-top cars, they move the mounting point from the roof down onto the uh, B-pillar itself. And then you have the seat belt that runs behind the uh, panel uh, itself. And the ratcheting mechanism is all behind the panel. So in order to get to it, you need to uh, really, to make uh, things a lot easier, you need to remove the lower cushion the upper cushion. The upper cushion is held on by the two bolts that hold the uh, retractable mechan me mechanism on the uh, rear seat belt itself. And then once those are out, the seat lifts up and it is hooked on three hooks on the back side. Simply hooked into place, just pull it out. And then you will need to remove that Phillips screw right there that Phillips screw right there. You will also need to replace or uh, take remove the B pillar molding as well as the aluminum sill plate. So once the, all that is removed, you can then get to the back panel, pull the back panel aside, and there you go. There is the shoulder belt uh, retractable ratcheting system hiding there back in the quarter panel. So. The next thing you need to do is you have the seatbelt retractor itself. This is basically just a lever. See this one is froze up. Not really moving very easily and what happens over time is these break. I do have another video on how to replace these and what happens when these break and how the seatbelt reacts when they are broken. So if they are broken, if yours is broken, you will want to replace that. So that is simply held on with two screws. So let me go ahead remove those screws and that comes through you can see that move this out of the way get some light back in there comes through the quarter panel and it goes through the seat belt mechanism itself it slides through you can see the uh, green portion is part of the seat belt lever and that uh, sits in there so once I go ahead and remove those screws I'm going to go ahead and pull that out all right, once the screws are removed, just go ahead and that pulls right on through, just like that. So uh, the next thing I'm gonna do, I already have the, uh, the floor piece unbolted, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt the roof mount, and then I will show you how to get the bolt out on the ratcheting portion of it. Okay, so there is a good look of the shoulder belt mechanism, and the Torx bolt is located underneath it. Now I already went ahead and, and loosened it up, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. All right, bolt is removed. Now the seat belt mechanism itself actually slides down inside. It has a hook, so you lift up on it, pull it out. So there's the hook on the back side that you can see, and then there's the slot that it fits into. So that is basically it. So once you get everything loose, you, you uh, essentially have a, uh, a mess of uh, buckles and, and uh, anchor points and, and everything like that. So if you want to keep the, the panel, which in my case I do, you need to feed everything through that little tiny slot right there. And you think to yourself, how in the world does all of this fit through there? Well, it does. It is tight, but it does. So what you need to do is you need to remove the uh, bolt, the Torx bolt that fits through here. So you gotta remove this shoulder, this sleeve. It'll unthread from this bolt. Remove the bolt and then carefully fish everything through this hole right here. So once you have that all fished through, go ahead and get yourself your new seat belt. Put everything through the way that you removed it and go ahead and bolt everything back into place. So let me go ahead and do that. And uh, it, uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and 
start bolting down the uh, rear seat belts as well. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll show you what it looks like once it's all done. Alright, things are looking good here. I got the seat belt back into place and I also got the panel back into place. And while I was at it, since the panel was off, I went ahead and made sure I fed through the seat belt release lever, fed that through, uh, through the white eyelet in the seat belt mechanism itself, as you saw, and also went ahead and put the back seat in because when you put the rear seat belts on, the lower seat belt ratcheting mechanisms hold the rear seat down. And as you, as I said, the upper portion of the rear seat is held on by three hooks on the back. So things are looking good in here. So that is how you replace the seat belts. It is not a very difficult job. All right, guys, well, that is it for this episode of G-Body How To. Now, now to go ahead and help you out on your G-Body project, I'm gonna go ahead and post my G-Body How To playlist in the upper right-hand corner of this video. So make sure you're clicking on that and also leaving me comments if you have uh, questions about your project. And if you find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you click on that subscribe button below because I am sure you will like my channel and the future videos that I have coming up on Classic G-Body Garage. And until the next Classic G-Body Garage video, keep those G-Bodies rolling.